Do you have any spring break? <laughs> yes. I'm happy to be able to attend South by Southwest this year, but I know there's still a lot to watch over spring break. For sure. Hunter, Ryan, and Nikki are here to break down what they think we should all be watching over the break. Guys? Hey, Sneak Meekers. I'm Nick Flores. And I'm Hunter Gasway. I'm Ryan Schwen. We're here to tell you what kind of shows you can start watching over spring break. Yeah, you got some time, you know, during spring break. Let's binge some stuff, yeah. Nice break from school. The streaming services have more than provided for us. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. So, Hunter, I see, I hear you've been watching Severance by Ben Stiller. Oh, I have been loving Apple TV Severance, starring Adam Scott. All eight or nine episodes are going to be directed by Ben Stiller. And this is a really interesting concept for a show that hooked me from episode one. It's about this program called the Severance Program that this company has where someone can choose to have a procedure done on their brain where once they get to work, they don't know what happens while they're at work. All they know is they like get there at 9 a.m. and that they leave at 4. They don't know what happens while they're at work. And the person that they are at work doesn't know what happens while they're at home. So it's this like dual story. It's your classic kind of puzzle box show where you're learning more as the show goes along and you don't quite know everything that's going on, but it's fantastically directed by Ben Stiller. The shots are great and it's very eerie. The score also just sets the mood great and Adam Scott just works in these like workplace style shows. Like mm -hmm. he just looks like he belongs in an office and he, he plays a good everyman. And uh, Patricia Arquette is also really great on this mm -hmm. show as well as another Batman in person being in the show, John Turturro doing a great job. Right. He just looks like he belongs in an office. I mean, yeah. he does. I mean, <laughs> Parks and Rec, Walter mm -hmm. Mitty. I mean, he, he just looks great there. Yeah. Is that Apple TV, right? It's on okay. Apple TV, and uh, they dropped the first three uh, last week, and now it's going to be a weekly show for the next few weeks. So I, I'd say get on it, because this could be big. I think this is on the peak of breaking. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. No, yeah, I, I loved Walter Mitty when it came out, and I loved uh, ben Stiller's direction mm. and his um, cooperation with Adam Scott. I was looking forward to something like another collaboration with those two. So I'm happy mm -hmm. to see that they. When I found out that there was a show with Adam Scott, and then I found out, oh, it's directed by Ben Stiller too. <laughs> like better. that's a great combination yeah, right it's there. A great. Pair. <laughs> yeah. And Ryan, you've been watching Abbott Elementary, right, on ABC? Yes, ABC, and it streams on Hulu. Okay. I do not watch it on. Well, I know many people do, and I think that's awesome because they do like live Twitter parties while they're watching it while it's airing, which I think awesome. is awesome. Um, but yes, Abbott Elementary on ABC and Hulu. It's an awesome show. Um, it's a mockumentary style, like something like The Office or Parks and Rec. But I feel like that mar market is like really saturated right now. Like mm -hmm. all these companies, all these studios keep just throwing a bunch, bunch, bunch out yeah. there. But I will say Abbott Elementary is one that really sticks out to me. It's got an incredible cast. Quinza Brunson is the creator and star of it. She's incredible. Awesome. She's so funny. Um, and yeah, it's just got an incredible cast. The writing every week is just really funny. And it's not something that like, I, I feel like it is a very great show in terms of like, it's great that you can just like sit back and watch it and not have to like think about like, like so many different plot lines happening at once. Like something like a longer show. Mm -hmm. um, I, I just think it's a great show. It's a nice little evening activity. Yeah. Um, it's funny. It's got great cast, like I said. I mean, I, I love to joke about network TV dying as much as anybody else does, mm -hmm. but it's fun to see them have some breakout hits. Yeah, so. Abbott Elementary has had ABC's highest numbers, I think, since Modern Family. It, wow. It's been a huge hit so far, um, and I'm really excited to see where it goes. I think it has the potential to really, really go far. Yeah, that's nice. I like seeing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been a while mm -hmm. since I've seen a mockumentary-style show, to be honest, like um, that was ongoing. Mm -hmm. I know Superstore can't remember if it ended recently or not. Um, I did re-watch Modern Family very mm -hmm. recently because I remember watching that show with my parents on ABC every week and it was a really fun show. But it's been a while since I've seen a show like The Office and Parks and Rec because mm -hmm. those came out like years ago, mm -hmm. yeah. ending in like 2015 or so. So yeah. yeah, it's nice to see that there's another one that's been doing pretty well mm -hmm. on, on television. Mm -hmm. Abbott Elementary specifically, I think, because it takes it away from a traditional workplace. Yeah. I feel like so many of them just like kind of copy the same formula, mm -hmm. like the Office of Parks and Rec, and so it gets it feels very samey. But Abbott Elementary is about elementary school teachers mm -hmm. um, in underfunded districts, and so it really adds in that extra layer of not only like some like base level socio political commentary, but also like you have kids doing like stupid kid things. Yeah, and it's hilarious. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah.
But yeah, it's a great show. Everyone should check it out. It's Tuesdays on ABC, Wednesdays on Hulu. Okay, this yeah. is definitely both of those shows, Severance and Anime Elementary, I definitely want to check out. Mm -hmm. And you've been watching Dropout as well, right? Yes, the Dropout on Hulu. I like that we're covering a nice kind of broad spectrum of shows. And uh, the Dropout on Hulu is something that I was intrigued about. I roughly knew a lot of the points of the story of Elizabeth Holmes, mm -hmm. which is the true story. Um, and I like these kind of true crime shows the, about biopic type things, but I was not expecting how much I was going to enjoy the dropout. Amanda Seyfried playing Elizabeth Holmes is one of the best TV acting performances I've seen since the session ended. I mean, it is truly fantastic work. She copies the cadence of Elizabeth Holmes' voice, but also makes it to where it's not just her playing a caricature. She plays an emotional depth in the character that's just really incredible to see. And like, this is an awful person. Like, we know where this story is going, but she still makes you care about her, but not in a way that feels like it's portraying what's true. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a really delicate balance. It definitely has some shades of, like, Mark Zuckerberg and the social mm -hmm. network. And I think the directing is also there to, like, back it up. It's, it's been really impressive. All it's dropped is another one with the first three episodes dropping on Hulu. And it's been a lot of fun to watch through. And it's got a great, I mean, supporting cast. And... The people that they show that are coming later in the mm -hmm. season are also great. I mean, later in the season, the commercial showed Alan Ruck mm. from Secession. And then right now, we already have William H. Macy. Oh, wow. And, I mean, just tons of people. Uh, Dylan Mintz from 13 Reasons Why okay. is coming. Cool. And Interesting. So, I mean, they've got just like a broad spectrum of some really talented actors. And it, I would recommend, that even if this is not typically the sh kind of show that you're into, it's been really impressing me. Mm -hmm. Is this, have you uh, seen anything about the dropout as well, Ryan? I've been seeing a lot of clips of Amanda Seyfried, and I like, she's an actress that I, I really love, obviously, for her comedic talents, like mm -hmm. Mean Girls and, and Mamma Mia and stuff like that. Yeah. But really recently, she's been doing some incredible dramatic work. She was great in First Reform, the film with Paul Schrader oh, yeah. directing and writing. Yep. Um, she's just had a really, and Mank as well. Like, obviously, Mank. we have Mank. mixed <laughs> mixed feelings on Mank, but she was very good in it. And Absolutely, I think she's had yeah. a really great streak recently showing that she has talents not only as a comedic actress, but also as a, a dramatic one. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't checked it out yet, but I really want to, for sure. Yeah, I, I definitely have been, like, really impressed by her dramatic performances lately, and I think this is just, like, her, like, best role yet. And mm -hmm. uh, I really expect her to get a lot of Emmy tension come you know later this year because mm -hmm. she more than deserves it and i i can only tell that the rest of the show is going to give her more material to keep going on mm -hmm. do you think after this they could start like casting her as like full dramatic actress I, in like big budget films i would i would say that this is her making her best case possible mm -hmm. i mean if this is not the role that starts getting her cast as leads in dramatic features i don't know what will be this performance is that good and i i don't name know the name of the actor I'm blanking right now but the actor who plays Sonny in the show who is a sort of love interest for Elizabeth that's also a benefactor in the company it, he plays an extremely complex character and the actor that they have portraying him is fantastic and strikes that perfect balance of kind of likable kind of weird and like it's extremely difficult tightrope walk that he's mm. doing and he's pulling it off fantastic very nice very nice yeah i honestly i have not been keeping up with a lot of like recent shows for me i've been spending my time watching uh bob's burgers mm -hmm. the oh, anime nice. show started a while <laughs> while back i think it's on season 12 coming up i nice. believe so but they also have a movie coming out in may on memorial Ooh. day <laughs> so that's kind of why i started to get back into bob's burgers because mm -hmm. i remember watching the first couple of seasons and then I lost my Netflix, so I couldn't watch it anymore, <laughs> but now it's on yeah. Hulu. And it was one of the funniest sh uh, animated shows that I've ever seen. And I always see clips of it on TikTok. I've seen people, you know, talking about it and everything. So I just wanted to get back into it, maybe finish the series so far mm -hmm. um, until, you know, the movie comes out because yeah. it's, just, it's such a hilarious show. And these adult animated uh, shows, some, some of them are not always the funniest, to be honest, but Boss Burgers is one of the better ones. Yeah, it's one that I watched a while back, but definitely want to revisit, especially with the movie coming out. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, there is just so much stuff we didn't even, like, get to get to. Like, Winning Time's premiere mm -hmm. was was great. I'm loving the new season of Miss Maisel. It's, you know... The so Boys animated show. The Boys, the boys diabolical, diabolical was fun if you like the boys. And but yeah. There's so yeah. much good stuff. Mm -hmm. 